This is a great concept question. So I have a, a block sliding down this ramp with a constant speed. And what I want ultimately is the work done by friction on this block. And just to kind of tempt you to go the wrong direction with this, I gave you a kinetic friction coefficient, but you have no way of directly computing the work done by friction. So ordinarily you would do that by getting a friction force and then you would look at the displacement through which that force acted to find the work done by friction. I guess I'll call that like a delta x. But without having the angle here, I have no way of figuring out how far the thing has slid. So what's the concept behind this question? It's moving at a constant speed, and that means the net work must be zero. In other words, the work done by friction must be exactly the negative of the work done by gravity on the way down. So gravity is pumping energy into this block. And the work gravity does is path independent. So it doesn't matter that it's sliding sideways at the same time it's moving down. The work done by gravity would just be the force of gravity, mg, multiplied by this change in height of 3. And so I would end up with a work done by gravity of 2 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the force of gravity pointing down. And then it does that through a, a vertical change of three meters. So on the way down, gravity does positive 58.8 joules of work. And because I know the net work is equal to zero, friction must have removed exactly the same amount of energy from the system.